Ever since 2019, my dad and I had been counting down the days till we could go back and do this legendary race once more. It was the 10th anniversary of the event and we knew this year was going to be something special. We booked our place, but with the multiple hurdles required for us to get safely there and back, we all thought it was a bit of a pipe dream. But we crossed our fingers and toes, and ultimately a large dose of luck allowed us to get a spot in MIQ and get away before New Zealand got its first case of Delta and another level four lockdown. This is the Hope Root Alps 2021. It's the night before the first stage of the Haute route. So we're doing the easy side of the Columbia, go down into the valley, um, and then we climb all the way back up to Negev and then finish up the Cote 2000. But I'm just going to put myself in the front group and see what everyone else is doing. Try and not go out super, super hard. <laughs> I'm getting cramp. I get. That's the way, Pete. That's the way. Looking good, bro. Good, dad. Looking good. Oh, that was a bit disappointing. I was in contention there, and then. Uh, Legs completely fell to pieces. Started getting those little pre pre cramp uh, spasms that you start getting in, in the quads, and then had to slow down and try work through some electrolyte drink. 
and then the last the last climb was just uh, was just absolutely grim but I think I'm in the top 20 so that's a reasonable start it's a long race so time to get down onto the massage table How's that, mate? Oh, I got cramped. I was at the front of that big group. Oh, wait! Yeah, I was in like fifth. Oh, my God! And my quads started cramping. Oh, oh no, you still did incredibly well, yeah. though. You ran past us, you're 15. Yeah, it's so gutting. Oh, that's a lesson. <laughs> The start of that was mental, mental. I need to settle in now. That first climb was too fast. And yeah, my legs are paying for it a bit now, so I'm just gonna ride my own pace up here, up the Rosalind. Halfway up the Rosalind, I think, or maybe a third. Just having to do a real measured effort. Because I'm suffering after that Sazes climb. It was so fast. I have to pace myself and not blow up.
top of Rosalind. Oh, this horn player. That was beautiful. We got emergency potato. That'll fix me. Now we just got the team climb. Go. My spirits are way up again now. Absolutely brutal. I am so I am gonna be setting off way slower tomorrow. I've definitely dropped a whole bunch of GC places today. That was very poor. <laughs> Alright, we've fed and watered, had a massage. Feel a bit better now. I was completely depleted at the top of that team climb. I really did not enjoy the team climb at all. Um, the first half of it was like 2%. It was just so shallow and I just sucked. And then we went next to the dam and I felt alright for a while but then very quickly just completely fell to pieces again. <laughs> so I think the name of the game tomorrow is going to be trying to pace myself a bit better, ride my own race tomorrow I think. Telegraphy and the Galibier, that's massive. That's 2,000 2, meters of climbing and that one climb. And then that is the um, backside of Alpe d'Huez, the Sarien. All right, we're at the top of the team for the Queen stage. We're expecting four degrees at the tops of the hills, so I've got every single thing on. I don't think I'll ride with a puffer jacket on though. I'm feeling like an absolute bag of this morning. So, here's hoping they improve a little bit. Alright, here we go.
Yeah, this is pretty spectacular. It's pretty spectacular. Lukewarm now. So just keep going. Keep turning the pedals. Off. 2,800 meters elevation. The lungs are absolutely feeling that. Telegraphy. It's now quite warm. I've got leg warmers on. And a whole bunch of clothes on my back. Now just trying to settle in to a steady pace. Annoying, eh? <laughs> Going up the Gillibee. That's where we're headed. Up the Gillibee. 17k long this one. Bigger. It's done. It was really hard. I'm just eating straight meat. Magic potato. It's just looking like it's going to start raining, so I don't think I'm going to stay up here long, unfortunately. It'd be nice to have a lie down or something, but... Not this time. Not this time. Oh well, Galibier, you were a real bastard. This is what we got ahead of us. 
all downhill. So we're going on the last climb now. And we just had a crazy rainstorm coming off the Galibier. It was the coldest I've ever been. Oh, Now just climbing up to the back side of Alpe d'Huez. All right, I'm at the finish. The last K of the, um, what is that, the Seren was 10, 10 and a half percent. So evil. Real rough and bumpy. We went um, down that way last time. So now I've got to uh, descend over here towards Alpe d'Huez. Oh no, the truck's coming. This isn't even part of the stage. I have to bike up further to Alpe d'Huez. And I've already done four and a half thousand meters of climbing. <laughs> stage yesterday I really was just surviving that to be honest I went pretty steady compared to the other two days I was really screwed after stage two and I uh, didn't think I'd be able to get through stage three so just backed it off a bit and had a great time yesterday it was so tough but epic day in the saddle so today this morning I'm about to head down for the time trial which is at the bottom of Alpe d'Huez this is the view out of our bathroom up in the Alp. We're literally part of the chairlift. And the chairlift goes around the corner and then over there. What? Oh, it's a cracking day for a time trial. The legs have been feeling like two little blocks of wood, really, so I'm not expecting too much. But I'm going to try and enjoy myself, go hard, and enjoy this. Um, Rest day, time trial day. Looking real good. Only a couple of zigs to go. He's looking a bit better. Here's me and mum. Just watch dad come through. We'll rotate round. Look at the view. Look at it. Hot as anything. Heading down to do my time trial now. I'm hopefully I can do it in about 50 minutes, but we'll see what the legs want to do today. legs finally remembered how to cycle again. <laughs> That's more like what I'm good at, those hard efforts. That was way better. It'd be interesting to see what I came today. I felt so much better. Man, Alp d'Huez is beautiful. What a day for the time trial. 
So I just finished the time trial. A little bit shocked, to be honest. Yeah, I was absolutely motoring today, but fourth. I am in disbelief. So if anything, that's a massive highlight for me. Just testament, I guess, to those massive peaks and troughs you go through. Yesterday and the day before, like the second and third stage, I just felt like I couldn't pedal my bike. I was just struggling to even put out my training pace up the hills. But yeah, today I just felt like my old self again. Felt like I could actually push out close to my FTP. So yeah, tomorrow is a much shorter stage. So I'll, I'll give it another nudge tomorrow. Um, see if I can follow the main group. It's an absolutely stunning morning up here. On our day over to the Granon, up the Col du Lotteré. Start with going down the Alp d'Huez, which is going to be chilly, but I'm just going to deal with that. Oh, it's a cracking, beautiful day. It was another good day for me today and we're now in Brianchon. There was a terrible crash which I guess happens in bike racing but it's, it's terrible to see these people getting really injured crashing into cars. We're in Brianchon which is where we had the time trial last year and it's just gorgeous here. I absolutely love this town. Um, headed to the briefing now to hear about what's to happen for tomorrow. Um, yeah, fifth today. So two really good days for me, really happy with that. If nothing else I can say, I had two really good days on the bike and got fourth and fifth, so absolutely stoked. Day six of the Haute Route, and we're going over the Bonnet. The Bonnet we did last time is part of a double stage, and it's the highest point on the course. It's absolutely stunning. Hopefully I'll be in a state where I can get some good some good footage, but um, we're doing Col de Vars and then the Col de la Bonnet. Um, yeah, it's gonna be another big one. See what we can do.
at the top of the cultivars. Now we've just got the bonnet to go, which is a brutal, brutal plant. Riding up the bonnet. Time to settle in. It's a long, long climb. in a little hillside town called Oron, up from Saint Etienne, which is at the bottom of Bonnet. Um, and I didn't have much left to give, really. And I'm sure the altitude had a big effect on, um, on, on my performance up the Bonnet as well. See you in the douches. Well done, Dad. It's the start of the last day, day seven. We're in the car with the bikes. And today they've said that we can start at the bottom of the non-time section because half the race is starting at, that, at this smaller town, St. Etienne de Tien, which we're at, which me and Dad are quite pleased about because it means we have one less freezing cold non-neutralised uh, descent to do. Uh, so that's all we're carrying today. Excellent swan year number one driving us there. Mr. Alistair Meffin has done a fantastic job. Mum has done it, and also done a fantastic job keeping us going. Just rolling out of Saint Etienne now, waiting for the neutralised start to catch us. There's a big time descent coming up, so I assume it's going to be flat out descending, and then we've got <clears throat> some kind of thousand metre climb. First up, followed by a whole bunch of little rolly ones through to Nice. Last day. Bum's a little sore, but apart from that, in good spirits. we
Finished. Fifth home. It was a very hard day. Here, very hard last day. I went all in up the first climb, and then we ended up bridging back to catching up to the front two dudes. Did the second hill together, which was quite fun being with the leaders, and then. Uh, all of the punchy bits at the end, I just couldn't hold on. So I just cr crawled my way home at this last climb. That's it. Another hot route ticked off. Quite a different experience this year when you're trying to race full full gas every day. Completely different experience, but I loved it all the same. It was nice to get some good results mixed in with some bad results and learn more about myself in the process. Lots of really nice people doing the event. Everyone's super chatty. Want to do it again? Yes. Oh, yes. About. Oh. About. We've done it. Oh. Ellie did it too. Yeah, that was hard work. In the car. Oh, my lord, that was hard. We're in Nice. It's very Nice. Very nice. Very nice, I like. And we'll get the classic shot to finish the hurt route. Thank 
Thank you.